It's only me. Don't worry, it's just Jeff here. I hate those phrases. And the reason why is because it's only me. What do you mean, only me? When you phone someone and go, it's only me, you're immediately putting yourself below that other person. Oh, it's just Jeff here. Can I have five minutes of your time, please? You see, those words show me a window into the person's soul. I don't judge that person at all because I probably used the phrase loads of times myself in the past, but I catch myself doing it because the words belie the thinking behind that. The thinking of it's only me, that I'm just this kind of small, meek person that's not as important as anybody else, which of course we all know isn't true. Here's another example. Ah, oh, typical. What do you mean it's typical? When something bad goes wrong, it's typical. It means that it's typical that things are always go wrong. What kind of mentality is that? That you think, oh my goodness, things always go wrong for me. Oh, it's always like that, isn't it? No, quite often not. And quite often I have to challenge my clients when they just have these unconscious phrases that they use over and over again. And, oh, it always goes like this. What do you mean? No, it doesn't. You had a great time last week. And it's important that we catch ourselves in these unconscious phrases because they reinforce our identity over a period of time. And of course, they're unconscious unless someone reflects back to them um, that it's a bullshit term that we're using That is because it's unconscious. We need someone to reflect those back to us. Um, enough time so that we can learn how to do that ourselves. So... Here's the thing. If you catch someone saying it's only me, just reflect back to them what that really means. Because generally speaking, they're a perfectly lovely person, a decent, intelligent and capable person that says that. But they've just their little inferiority complex is, is playing out there in the way, words that are coming out. So you can challenge them and you can support that person by saying, what do you mean it's only you? I'm gl delighted to see you. What do you mean just Sandra? Sandra, I'm really happy that you're here. So don't talk yourself down. It's important. Words are important because words follow on through to the heart and the soul and the identity of that person. If you want to have a conversation about words and how they're affecting you, let me know. Send me a message in the private message or in the comments or email me at jeffshrimpton at actioncoach.com.